Hi, we're the Music Lens team, and we're all seniors here at Case Western Reserve University. We got the rare and very exciting opportunity to use the Microsoft HoloLens for our senior project class. Uh, my name is Adam DeFranco, and I worked as the team lead and the UI lead on our project. I'm Daniel McKinnon, and I worked on the tuner front end for this project. My name is Emma Schultz, and I worked on the sheet music view for this project. Our teammate Ryan worked on the tuner back end portion of this project, and you'll see him later in this video. So when we got this opportunity, when we were trying to decide what kind of application to make, we realized that we're all musicians and we love music. So naturally we decided to make an app for musicians. And so what our app offers is three widgets, a virtual metronome, two types of virtual tuners, and scrolling music so that the user doesn't have to flip any pages when they're playing along to the music, which you'll all see in the video coming up. We would like to say thank you to both Case Western and Microsoft for giving us this opportunity to work with this extremely exciting new and new technology. So we'll start with going through the menu button a little bit. You air tap to open it up and you could, you know, hide one of those views. You see the tuner goes away or show it. But I want to change my theme of the UI buttons. Uh, I kind of like gray. It's simple. Just close that. So now you see our tuner, and uh, I think some of my notes are a little off, so yeah, it's a little off, and that is a B flat. Perfect. But um, let's say I wanted to use a tuning fork, some people like that better, so I could just look at this and say show menu. and then click to show tuning fork so I gotta think what this note is, yeah I think that's the right note so I could either click it to play it or just simply say play tone awesome that sounds good to me and click between the different tones if you wanted to play along to those, you get the idea. So let's go ahead and hide that. And I'm going to focus on the metronome right now. So like with our other widgets, you could either click it once to start it, or you could say start metronome. And so let's uh, bring up the options button. So again, you can double tap for that or there is a voice command. So let's go through a few of our different metronomes. A ball that just goes back and forth. Red dot. And a light flash. I kind of like just sticking with the classic one though. So if we play this again. So tempo is a little fast for me. So there are different ways we could change this tempo. We could single click to go up. It's a little slow though if you're trying to go fast, so let's hold click on the down. And that goes a little faster. And you can also do some interesting subdivisions. But I just need a simple one for this. But this is still a little fast, so let's just say decrease tempo by 10. And you can see that went down. Let's just close this off. I'm just gonna... So you can come through and we can play the starting note here. And hear that. Come over, uh, we have our sheet music view, we can click to play. You can click to pause as well. 
All right. So we can also use voice commands. Start music. 